What's up gearheads? Jared here from Gearhead Grind Garage bringing you another episode today. Uh, this is just going to be a quick one going through some parts that I've gotten from an awesome new partner. Um, I am now a dealer for Off-Road Designs and am using their parts on the build for this truck as well. So I'm going to take you through which parts that I decided to go with that fit the purpose of this build well. And then you are more than welcome to check out our website for a ton of parts um, should be the majority of their catalog that we can carry and get for you should you want to come through gearhead grind for those parts needs um, in addition what i'm going to show you on the table here i am getting a set of front and rear custom built leaf springs from off-road designs as well really going to make this truck flex travel and hopefully off-road a lot better than it did before uh, should complement this build well i did go back and forth on leaf springs in linked um, components. I was really trying to figure it out. For the sake of this particular build, I'm going to kind of keep it old school uh, for that more retro feel and vibe. So I did decide to go Leafs. Who knows? I may change that at any time in the future. But going to try the custom Leafs first. They should ride awesome. Right now they're being built, so I'm going to wait for those to come in. But here, let me take you through what we've got in the meantime and what's going to be going on this truck very soon. Two boxes of goodies here. I did already start unboxing these to some degree because they do come very well packaged. Um, so I wanted to get some of that out of the way so I can get less of this crinkly noise in the background. All right, let's go ahead and start. So we are gonna be seeing about six inches of total lift over stock. So we did include some Offer Designs extended brake lines that'll give us the, uh, the extra travel we need going from the body of the truck and the frame down to the axle itself. From there, I'm gonna be building some custom in-house brake lines that go along the axles themselves, um, just to make sure that we're all good there because I never try to rely on old components when doing stuff like that. Next, we're gonna go with these big, beefy shackle, big, beefy shackle hangers here. So these are for the rear of the rear shackles. They do uh, drop lower than the stock shackle and of course are a substantial, chunky, beefy upgrade. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow us to run, let's see if we can pull it out one hand here. I should have had one of these unwrapped. So we're gonna be able to run one of their big, chunky axles here, or, uh, shackles here. It's funny, this one actually has a rock from when they tumbled it. Um, but yeah, one of their big chunky shackles to get some really good uh, movement here with the, uh, the rear leaf spring. So that way you can get a nice bow and flex with that leaf spring that's gonna be on it um, and still get a ton of travel out of this. So I'm hoping to get at least 12 inches of travel in the rear. Um, I'm going to measure that once the axles get in place and then figure out what size of bypasses to run as well in the rear for the shocks. So either going to be some 14 or maybe even some 16 inch bypasses on there that we're going to mount in the bed. So yeah, we've got the, the hangers for both sides, of course. So I'm just going to put some of the duplicate stuff over. I think that's it for this one. And then we also have some new bushings for those leaf springs as well. So these are some good quality bushings to make sure that we've got the right stuff on those leaf springs. And then of course, all the mounting hardware that we need. So what we're gonna do and what I'm gonna show you is how to blow off the rear shackle hanger or the sh whatever ones we're gonna be taking off. In this case, it will be the rear shackle hanger from the frame of the truck. And then we're gonna use some grade eight hardware to bolt it on back onto the truck here. And that's actually gonna give us strength over you can see it down there, the rivet style that secures it to the frame. Rivets work great for stock builds, but for chunky off-road stuff, I want those things bolted on. They're gonna be much stronger that way. What else we got? We've got the zero rate add a leaf kit as well. So this is gonna allow us to get everything fine-tuned in the rear of the truck here. They've got different mounting holes that are countersunk for your needs. So you can move that axle around to fine tune it in where it's gonna land in your particular application. So if I need to move it front or rear a little bit to get it lined up with this wheel well that you see here, then we can do that based off where that, the 
the center of that leaf spring is and, and where it sits in its travel range. We also got this front upper shackle hanger for the front of the truck here. Once again, some beefy quarter inch stuff in here, as well as the bushings and everything we need to get those leaf springs mounted in the front of the truck. So that, it just, everything here is basically gonna beef up and or replace these stock hangers in the front. And then whatever is left stock, so there should be um, one front and rear that are gonna be left from the stock components. We're gonna go in and weld in some gusting and beef them up. We've got another set of bushings for the leaf springs, and then a set of heavy duty front shackles. Look at those things, dude, these are chunky. What is that, three eighths hardened steel shackles for the front of the truck. Heck yeah, looking forward to getting those in place. Get some more travel in there. And just some more bushings. So you got all the bushings, cause you're gonna need, you know, a pair of them per so we need eight total, which we do have. We got the six, two bushings with the shackles and two bushings with the upper shackle hangers. So we're basically all good to go here in order to do our leaf springs front and rear and get some extra travel out of those babies. Well, that's it for the off-road designs parts. I will walk you through exactly what we're gonna do with these parts as well as when I do the actual install on the truck themselves. But that's it for right now, and then the rest of our stuff is being built. If I need to add anything, I'll loop you guys in. Thanks for joining me on that quick overview video to go through the new off-road designs parts. We're super excited to have them on board with this build and to be running their parts on our truck. Please check out gearheadgrind.com to see what we have in stock for off-road designs. Let us know if you have any questions. We'll also be posting a whole breakdown of exactly what parts we're gonna be using on this truck. So if you see something that you like, you can go in, see this build, see exactly what we used and go ahead and get those ordered for yourself. If you have any questions, please comment below. We're always looking to help people out, answer any questions. Maybe I wasn't clear on something. And then of course, please like and subscribe. But you know, we're just here to build cool stuff and uh, to bring you guys along for the ride. So thanks for checking it out. See you next time, gearheads.